Good afternoon. I uh, was on Twitter this morning, and there was this story about a buyer who went to put an offer on a property. The property had been listed for like 60 days, which in this market is a long time. And uh, it had been, the price had been lowered on the Friday. They went on Sunday. Their agent called the seller the seller agent and said, you know, hey, we're thinking about putting in an offer. The listing agent said that there was another offer on the property. Now, this is something that can happen. This is something that happens all the time. It's not, it's not surprising. And so anyway, the buyer wrote an offer, put it in. And then two days later, the listing agent calls back and says, can you do, can you do better? Can you make a, a, a stronger offer? Why would they say that if there's already an offer on the property? So the person said, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to write an offer. And what ended up happening is a week later, the property was still on the market and they were doing open houses and stuff like that. What does that mean? Well, it means that the listing agent lied. There wasn't another offer on that property. Uh, if there was, if it was a decent offer, when you called for highest and best, then you would have made a decision. Um, and people always ask me like, John, how do you know if somebody really has more multiple offers? And it's hard, it's like, I want to believe other agents, okay? Um, and certainly during the time recently where things were so busy, I mean, I, I wouldn't believe it if somebody told me there were 30 offers on a property until I had a property where there were 30 offers on it. So, I mean, then you say, okay, but this is something like you kind of want to kind of want to be aware about what you need to do with your agent, if you're the buyer figure out a price that you think is the right price for the property. Put that in, okay? Write that offer, put it in. If the seller doesn't take it, fine. If the seller takes it, fine. But you've set the price that you're willing to pay. Don't get stuck chasing after a property. It, it, it will stop this uh, Stop this in an instant. It doesn't matter if there's 15 other, prop or 15 other offers on the property. You've, you've made your decision and this is what you'll, you'll go with. I, I always get a little bit freaked out when people say highest and best on a property when shouldn't you be putting in your best offer you put your best foot forward anyway there's always something a little bit off about that anyway that's what i have for you today hope you have a wonderful rest of your day i will catch you later